Brandon Ingram should be traded. Trade Brandon Ingram. Package him. I don't care if it's with Lonzo, Kentavious, Caldwell, Pope. As long as or it's not. Both. As long as or it's both. Not. Or both. Oh. Trade them. Hard Trade. Th 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 that's right. As long as it's not hard or Kuzma. Saying that. Keep LeBron, Kuzma, and Hart. I don't give a damn who else you give up. But specifically, trade Brandon Ingram. <gasps> Brandon Ingram doesn't fit on this Lakers squad. Doesn't fit in the play. I don't give a damn what Magic said. I, I, you know how much I love Magic Johnson. We go back a very, very long way. He was sitting right there next to you, Mac. And, he, and when he said Brandon Ingram, we were running out of time. What did I do, y'all? I looked right at him. Like, really? That guy? That's our second best player. Stop it. Nobody's buying that. Brandon Ingram could play. He is not a scrub. But he doesn't fit on this Lakers squad. Remember. Trade Brandon Ingram. 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 <laughs>
stifling him in this system. I want to see him flourish. Yeah, let's just trade him. I think it'll be the best for Ingram. The best for Ingram? <laughs> be honest, honey. You just, you just want a star around LeBron. And it's fine to want that. It's natural. It's natural. Just let, just, just, just don't, don't try to mask it. Talking about some, I want Ingram to flourish. He's, he's, he's averaging 20 some odd points. Okay, let's not act like this is about Ingram. You, you want stars around LeBron like everybody else. You know what I mean? It doesn't make you any less of a Laker fan. I appreciate it that you phrased it that way. However, we see right through that, honey. <laughs> You're not slick. Okay, but I'm saying it's valid to feel that way because at the end of the day we have them for four years You know and I think Lakers and myself included I'm at like a crossroads right now because we've really even though I said I accepted him at the beginning and like I'm all with LeBron I'm gung-ho honestly in my soul. I'm gonna be real. I was I'm, I'm still fighting with him I'm still wrestling with him a little bit. There's no rationale for somebody getting on YouTube and making a 17 minute rant on, on this one player. You know what I mean? There's no way that would happen if I was completely t to terms with him like I had told you guys. So I was lying to you and I was lying to myself because I, I really convinced myself that I was okay with him being here. Clearly I wasn't. I had some unresolved issues. That was like a therapy session to me. You guys are literally like my therapists. You notice that, right? Like I rant to you guys. You guys are my sports therapist. And I want to thank you for that. I do. But now that I've kind of gotten it all out my system, hopefully he improves. And you still have that five game timeline. Don't think I forgot about you either, Luke. You guys are both on a five game timeline. Improve. But now that I've gotten it all out, I can see clearly. Even though the video was still rational. I was right. That's a fact. I was definitely right. But I'm just saying, I'm a little more, I'm a little more calm now. And I think we're at a crossroads where it's like, are we gonna ride with LeBron 100% or are we looking for future? Okay, here's the thing. We have, I think, with LeBron, I did make a 17 minute rant, yes, but he is great. Uh, he's not the GOAT. He killed himself on that one. No, you're not. But he is great and we could win with him, period. I know a lot of people, no, you can't, you know. We can win with LeBron, let's just be real. Okay, let's be real. We can win with him in time. And so do we just go all in for these next four years and break up any semblance of a future that we might have had without him and just pour into these next four years? Or do we go half and half? Like we don't want to ruin all of that future. So we're not going to put as much effort into getting these stars by trade and just kind of keep our future in the back pocket, but still try to win for now. Like it's a crossroads that we're at right now. And it's a tough situation because at the end of the day, Stephen A. Smith was talking about how uh, Brandon Ingram's style, you know, does not fit the Lakers. And I saw what he was talking about. You know, people were always responding with like highlight clips of him. That really doesn't prove anything. Like I saw what he was saying. I understood, I understood him. But on the other hand, just being a Laker fan, I don't want to give him up. I don't because I just have a feeling. There's just a feeling in me. You know, I am the Laker prophet. So when I have feelings, you know, we tend to, we tend to be right, you know? So I don't know, I just I just feel like if we let him go, he probably would flourish, he would kill and we'd regret it. Like Randall, I regret Randall, I do. I regret Randall, I miss you Randall. <laughs> Come back home Randall. You know what I mean? Like I don't want another Randall situation. I just, Ingram's already doing well for us. You know, he's already doing well as a player in the league in general. He has that potential. I think he just needs a little bit, I don't know what he needs. It's like a kick, he needs some sort of, not heart. I don't know what it is. Like he does seem like, not he's holding back, but he's like a calm, like reserve player. Like I think if he was a little more aggressive, a little more vocal too, like that would bring something else out of him that would put him just a little bit higher. You know, just something is just, you know, we're waiting on it. I don't know what it is, but we're waiting on it. But I think he's there. He's like right there. He's close. He's close to where he, he could be. Not at the top of where he could be, but he's close to making a significant amount of progress. Honestly, it's like the same with Lonzo because Stephen A. Smith is trying to package him up too and send him off. I'm like, chill out, hold on. We investing in these guys, you know what I mean? Like it's either future or now and that's the crossroads we're at. Because at the end of the day, we're signing this dude for four years and, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, 
I don't know how great this decision was. I'm regretting it, to be honest, just a tad bit. Signing LeBron. It has brought a lot of excitement. You know, it's brought hope back to the city, which is unbelievable. And I will thank him for that. However, I don't know, LeBron, it's like, how come we have a better start last year than this year? Granted, all the teams he, you know, transferred to, they all started off slow. So, I mean, I did expect it, but going through it, it's, it's rough for me to watch because I'm like, last year we did better. So, you know, you can make excuses all you want. They're a new team, they're getting used to each other. I get it, but you just have to understand my frustration, like, as a Laker fan, watching this, like, people gassing him up. Oh, he's the GOAT. And so I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, and I knew he would start off slow and the team would start off slow, but still, like, you know, you just have that hope. And so when it's crushed, even though you knew it was gonna happen, it kinda sucks, you know? And now we're being forced to choose between developing these guys and winning for now. And a lot of people think you win for now, but like a lot of long-term Laker fans are like, wait a minute, like, hold on, what about when LeBron leaves? Like, he's gonna come in here, literally toss this into a blender, shake everything up, and then just gone in four years, and it's, it's done, like, I don't, you know, we're at a crossroads right now. Honestly, I don't know where I stand. I might make an update video on when I figure everything out because I don't like to just speak and say things when I don't really know. I don't know where I stand because at the end of the day, it is just about getting as many banners as we can. And if LeBron can help us do that and put banners up in the Lakers, I'm a fan of that. So that's that, but then again, I don't want him to get us like to the finals. What if he just never wins? And then he just leaves us high and dry and goes and makes Space Jam three, four, five, and six. But you couldn't get not one, two, three, not one banner. You making six Space Jams, but not one banner. I just don't want that to happen. We're at an interesting point. I just don't know. I don't know. People are trying to say we should trade for Beal. You know, that would bring that outside perimeter shooting. It's a good idea. You know, like, like your fans, I know the Ingram thing, but it's a, it's a solid idea. It's, the, the ideas are solid, even if it's not Beal. Trade for somebody else. Um, I think Ingram does have that value, and Magic has done a great job of inflating his value because I'm not trying to say he's overrated or anything like that, but y'all do hype him a little bit. He's a great player. I love him just as much as the next Laker people, but you guys do. You hype him a, a lot, a lot of it. You do. So Magic, I think Magic was the one. I don't know if Magic was the one or Laker fan base did it, but y'all kind of really gas this dude up. And he's, he's living up to the expectations, but like there's still just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just like LeBron. Like he's, he's doing it, but there's a little bit something missing. It's the same with Ingram to me. There's something missing. He's just not there where we need him to be. Whereas Kuzma, they're not the best players on the team, whatever. Hart is not the best player. Like, we're not trying to trade them because they're so valuable. I don't know if this is going to make sense to anybody else. It makes sense in my head. They're there. You know what I mean? Like, they're where they need to be right now. I think for the potential Brandon Ingram has, he's not where he needs to be right now. So that's why it's a little antsy. And the fact that he doesn't fit as well into our style of play, I guess, as Kuzma and Hart do, even though LeBron doesn't, because he's slowing down uh, uh, the pace. He gotta go slow down, because he's he's tired. He's trying to save his energy for playoff. He don't even play defense, how are you still tired? Uh-oh. Sip on that seat. And I'm back. All I have to say is this. I just don't know. I don't know guys, I want y'all to help me figure this out, so we're gonna have a whole dialogue in the comments. Just let me know what you guys think, Laker fans, LeBron fans. I know y'all wanna trade everybody, LeBron fans. I know you guys are like the executive you know, fans, and you guys are the ones that make the decisions. You're all the head honchos around here. You think you could just import and export whoever you want, so I know. But let's just talk this out and let's see if we can figure out something, okay? And help me make up my mind, because I legit don't know. I'm right here with it, like, I just don't know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video. Please, guys, follow me on Instagram. I don't know which, which side it's on, but might as well follow both. I just pointed at both of them. Yeah, no, just type it in your phone. Hit the follow button, it's free. I promise it will not charge you. Your bank account will live to see another day, okay? Press the follow button and check out here if you wanna see some other videos from me. Subscribe to join the Splash Squad. Check out my new merch, check that out. Check it out. It's gotta look fresh while you're in the gym. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Shout out to the squad. I'm out. <laughs>